I see. So, uh, next thing is like, there are a lot of spectrum of athletes that come around here, and uh, one thing that comes in my mind when you talk about you know being training with Elliot and have that spark, it's about also mental, mm -hmm. like a mental toughness and stuff like that. And uh, one athlete pops in my head is like Kobe Bryant. He's mm -hmm. always like had this mental toughness. So, what type of athletes you want to train and you do train over here? Well, I'm very selective. Like, I'm very selective. Uh, <clears throat> I don't, I test a lot of athletes. What happened when you first came in? I didn't really give you too much time of day, right? Yeah. I wanted to see what kind of athlete you were. I wanted to see how you work, how you operate. Because I've known for a long time, like, I've had really good friends who wipe me off the floor when it comes to athleticism capability. But I, I knew they couldn't compete when it came to mindset because I'm going to put in that work, right. you know. And so when I was able to see that being an athlete myself, I was able to choose what kind of athletes I want to work with. And, uh, and I can tell right off bat by an athlete almost coming in for a session or two uh, how they conduct themselves um, and, and really, you know, what kind of athlete are they going to help themselves out. Because in, in, in anything, it comes down to you. I could give you the best program in the world, and you could follow it 50%, and you're going to get 50% results. Or I can give you the shittiest workout in the world, but if you follow 100% intensity with everything that you have, day in and day out, you're going to get way better results than the best program. Right. So really, uh, that, the reason why I was trying to explain with Elliot is I, I almost feel like I got a degree in Miami but through strength camp, I got a degree in psychology when it came to athletes. Because right. I'm able to see what makes them tick, and I'm able to see which ones I want to pick and choose to work with. And it's not because I don't think, hey, you're not going to go anywhere. I take kids all the, all the time. I took basketball players who picked up a basketball in ninth grade. But I remember this kid. His name is Kyle. But I remember seeing him come in. I gave him a dribbling program, and he dribbled every single day before he came and trained. So I knew, I was like, okay, I'm going to work with him. Even when all the other athletes left, it was just me and him. It was football season. I worked with him and worked with him, and he got a college scholarship because I knew he was going to put in the work day in and day out. And that's all that matters to me. You know, at the end of the day, do you want it or do you not? If you don't really want it, it's going to show, and you're wasting my time, and I really don't want to, I really don't care to work with you. Yeah, I think it's a lot about, you know, details, how mm -hmm. you put it in, because, you know, and also it's, comes to details and then being very precise in the program and put it all in. And yeah. uh, I remember one of the first things you said to me was uh, work like a cat. You know, go all out and then just rest. Yeah. Yeah, right? That, that was one of the first things I still remember that. <laughs> Sometimes I regret that I'm not doing it because I, I might go like four workouts a day. And yeah. Like, <laughs> like, for example, Monday I went like the last workout was at 9 o'clock. Yeah. But what would be it that the advice for somebody to go hard at, at their craft and, you know, and, you know, maybe they have to study the tape or maybe they have to, you know, uh, do something else, like, like two tips. So I, so this is my biggest thing and I'm really big goal oriented and my, my biggest thing for goals and I've always played by this because this is what I did for, through Miami is you need to create a goal ladder. And essentially what a goal ladder is, is, uh, I need you basically take a piece of paper and draw a ladder. You know, you know what a ladder looks like. Yeah. You draw two lines and you draw a bunch of steps, right? And and all you do is place that main top goal. I don't care how big it is. You can dream as big as you want to, but put that biggest goal in, right there that you know you want to obtain at the very top. And from there, what you do is each ladder, you work your way backwards through everything you have to do until you get to where you're at right now. That makes sense. Yeah. Definitely. So essentially, you know, whatever it is that you want, you you know, say for you, uh, for instance, uh, your goal is to to compete for your country. Right. You know, at the highest level. So from there, you start working backwards. What do I need to do to get to the Olympics? I need to qualify here. Boom. That's there. That's the next step before the Olympics, right? So then, what do you need to do before you qualify? You need to reach this amount of time. So what is that? Where am I at? And what do I need to do to get there? You sought coaching. This is what you needed to do. You get what I'm saying? You keep working until you get to that point where you're right where it is. And what this allows you to do, um, it's not so much, it can act as a guide, if you will, as you look 
you know, check off each step. But in the same sense, it gives you mental clarity of how you can travel that path to get to that goal. Right. You get what I'm saying? Not a lot of people, people just put this goal out there and they just think, oh, I'm going to go do this, this, and this. And, and then they, they achieve exactly, it. Exactly, like... they don't achieve it. But, and then a lot of them get stuck in like, okay, I got to go work out and I have to go make sure I eat good every day. You know what I mean? Like these are the little things. That's good. You have to stay in the moment and, and, and knock those out day in and day out. But in the same sense, you have to have a plan as far as the steps you're taking progressively to get there. Because um, everybody meal plans, everybody trains, everybody does this. What's the difference between your goal and anybody else's and how you're going to achieve it? That's really big, I think. That's my biggest tip, if you will.